Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Carb Spice and apparently Amni. I was trying to figure out what she was doing there. I think she was working on some sort of craft. Um, Amni is such a good little girl, you know, and a good little helper and very good big sister. And she's very independent. So um, one question I get is, okay, where do you find the time to exercise, to work out? So I make time. I make sure Ebony is occupied with some sort of activity that she's going to be okay with on her own. So I think at the time when I was exercising, she was probably uh, cutting up paper and working on some craft. And she's very, very good at doing that. So, you know, these activities will keep her occupied for a good hour and a half at least. And she doesn't want any help. You know, if she wants help, she'll come ask. But she's very independent and I'm, I feel very grateful for that. So that is to answer the question of where do I find time um, I don't believe in sleep when the baby is sleeping I cannot always do that because I do have a toddler as well to tend to I do have a home um, you know I have to do other things around the house when Ron is unable to you know like cook laundry things like that you know he chips in but I have to make sure um, other things get done so I commit to a solid uh, three days of hard workouts. So of the three days, two days will be my lower body and I already uploaded a video. You know, you can check out my previous video on that. And I also work my upper body because I want to be strong overall. I do tend to push more on my lower body because that is the look that I like. You know, I believe people should exercise and train towards their goals. So, for instance, when I was actually um, getting ready for my first competition years ago, <laughs> like three and a half years ago, four years ago, yeah, four years ago, it's been, wow, it's been that long, um, my training was different, my schedule was different, you know, now postpartum, I'm just trying to get back to a place where I'm physically, you know, stronger and I look better. I want to feel good about how I look. When I look in the mirror, I want to see a strong person someone who actually took care of themselves or themselves and you know when I am um, struggle so much with HG throughout this pregnancy I said to myself wow look at me now I feel like a shadow you know I it was so depressing guys um, to just see how I lost all of the weight I lost like I think 15 pounds in a matter of five six weeks and it was it was it continued to be a downward trend because with HG, hyperemesis, gravidarum, I could not have eaten anything substantial. Um, you are welcome to go check out those videos. Um, those were really dark, trying times for me. So, of course, um, keeping up with the theme, you know, on my channel and also my lifestyle and off YouTube, you know, what, what you guys don't see, I'm really trying to commit to building back myself. You know, I want to get back to my old self. And so I'm committing to three days. It doesn't sound like a lot, but I am just, what, 12 weeks postpartum. I am taking it really easy this time around. I want to exercise correctly, exercise properly. I want to go on this journey of transformation, you know, physically and emotionally, mentally as well, and just see where it leads me. You see, there's my little darling. I told you guys she's the most lo loving person. She's so sweet. You know, she would give me random hugs and kisses. <laughs> you know, my goodness. I know she's going to grow up and she can possibly tr change. But her personality, you know, she's very, very loving and thoughtful. And I'm very grateful for that. So, you know, hopefully I'm blessed with two daughters who are like that. But, um, you know, so I want to encourage you ladies. When you're exercising, don't neglect your upper body. You know, you can do high rep, low, low weight. Like, that's what I do. That's how I treat my upper body now. So I make sure to target my biceps, my triceps. You know, I don't want that flat. You know, my triceps. I want to, you know, tone up and tighten up. So when I wear my spaghetti straps or my tank tops, I look like someone who really takes care of themselves. And that's what I, I that's kind of like an example I want to put out there for my daughters as well. Um, I also work my chest. I know some girls, ladies, you shy away from working your chest, but 
that also helps with keeping things perky you know whether or not you believe it actually does and I'm a breastfeeding mom so that is something well breastfeeding you know pumping etc I'm a mom you know I have a newborn so I'm also trying to address those areas you know I'm trying to have this overall balanced look I want to project um, health and fitness when you guys look at me and you come to my channel and honestly I'm very open about my journey um, a couple of times people would you know send me private messages and say you know wow you're so open and if you didn't had you not mentioned XYZ I would not have had the courage to even open up about certain things that I struggle with as well you know I don't put everything out there on social media I don't um, but whatever you see on social media from carp spice it is authentic you know you look at my videos you see um, you know a background where you know you might see like a shirt or some clothes or you know toys or something like that that is my reality but you know what I have to work out within that 20 minute window I'm not gonna worry about trying to clean up the background and make it all perfect for YouTube or for social media I live in my space you know you guys look at my videos I kind of have things together you know, in my background right now it's not perfect but I think it's decent if you understand what I'm saying um, so I try to be authentic. Um, I try to encourage you guys. You see my daughter is running around. Um, you know, she's not locked up in a room somewhere. The reality is that, you know, in this workout, I had to stop several times. Baby was crying. The pacifier fell off. Um, we needed to get something from somewhere. She wanted a drink of water. You know, that is the reality. And those are the things you don't necessarily see. Um, but never am I going to present a scenario where my situation is perfect. It is far from perfect. You know, I, and, and I, I kind of struggle with, um, relating to creators, you know, content creators who kind of put out that vibe, that aura, that everything is perfect behind the scenes. So anyway, um, I just wanted to come here and show you, you know, what I do for my upper body. Um, I'm not really working on my abs as yet believe it or not I'm still very numb my back like a whole section of my back you know my upper right back area it's just kind of numb it's kind of weird it's a weird sensation that I'm taking it easy uh, with my core as well um, I wear a belt for support I don't wear a belt 24 7 a belt is not gonna give you abs if anything your belt is probably just gonna make you um, sweat and that gives you what you lose water and so it's temporary but as far as me wearing a belt I wear that for support whether I'm sitting or standing or whatever I, I need that support some women don't after two c-sections I'm realizing I need a little bit more support than I would like to admit um, hopefully I can start really targeting my core like within the next month or two I'm in no rush um, and there are some do's and don'ts some things I learned from the first time around for my first c-section um, so I can't wait to really share that with you guys as well and um, the other reason why I don't wear a belt 24 7 I need to engage my my core that is how you make your core stronger if you wear a belt all the time you're not really, really engaging your core so I don't wear a belt 24 7 um, but I'll make another video, a separate video to talk about core and amps and all of that after a C-section. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and of course give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment and share with the mamas out there. Like